before even wanting to attract what you want in life, you first need to give yourself the validation, the permission to do so. It's a saying that says there's no such thing as an action without a reaction. If we become conscious of the things we say on a daily basis or the things we do on a daily basis, especially when other people are around, then we start to realize how messed up this whole system is. We start to realize that everything we are doing is actually for validation from other people. This starts when we are very young. As a kid, we already do behavior like this. Like some kids, they act as a rebel just to see that their parents will care for them or will give them that attention. Why do they seek the attention? Because it's not that they want to be told off what for what they do. In fact, they want love. They're seeking love. They're seeking for uh, attention because they want that time with you. It just so happens that throughout our upbringing, the more times we cry or the more times we make certain uh, upsetting uh, uh, comments or, or, or emotions that we will start to get people um, uh, attention where they come around and then they say, it's okay, don't worry about it. And then inside there is this feeling that you are being loved, that you are maybe even lovable. I did it in my early teenage years as well. I rebelled a lot and um, my dad used to uh, give the attention and I didn't know that deep down inside that's what I was craving. Um, but it wasn't a healthy relationship. It wasn't healthy for myself and the manifestations that came from it was unhealthy manifestations. It was more challenges and more obstacles that came my way. If you just understand the basic principle that you don't attract what you want, you attract what you are, every time you're sulking about something or any time you are saying to a loved one and you're asking the question, do you love me? Or do you even care for me? Or when you make some gesture like looking at another girl or another guy and then looking at their reaction. And if you are doing such behavior, then become aware of what is your vibrational frequency in that moment. Because most likely, it's a lack vibration. It's a fear, it's a doubt vibration, it's a negative vibration. And therefore, you attract more obstacles along your way. This one thing will, will change the way we manifest things, for sure. It will stop all the blockages and stop all the obstacles because it's all unconscious. It's happening whether we know it's happening or not. I think the secret behind it all is to stop seeking outside for validation. Am I beautiful? Or can you comment on my dancing skills, my singing skills, and, and craving for those reactions? Once you become aware that you stop craving for those reactions and you imagine that, hey, if I was by myself right now, in this moment, can I validate myself? Can I tell myself that I am worthy? Do I know myself, even looking in the mirror, that I am enough and I am powerful and I am beautiful and I am confident and I am everything and I am one with everything? Because once you come to that conclusion, and you start validating from the inside and stop seeking on the outside, watch the outer reflection of your reality will start to align and manifest itself towards your powerful and beautiful vibrational frequency.